Hi everyone, this is going to be a really quick Friday Functions video where I'm going to show you how you can write a launch function but not have to write it. So it can automatically occur without you writing it. First, I'm going to show you how to write it. For those of you that don't know, if you do know, you can just skip ahead. All right. So I have a text box in here already. And it has a default value of somebody's email address. So if I go to detail default here, you'll see the email address is just typed in there. But this could definitely be in a gallery or something else. And then I've got a little button here to email them. And what I'm going to do in the on select property of that button is I'm going to insert the launch function. So this is the function that can let you force an email or a call. So if I was doing a phone call, I would do tell, but since I'm doing an email, I'm going to do mail to, all right? So I'm going to do mail to, and then I'm going to put this text input value in here. So this is text input one dot text. So what I'm saying is first you want to mail to, and I do need to put a semicolon there, and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see this up close. You can see that I'm doing mail to, and then the text input box. That way, whatever address I put into that inbox is what it will mail to, right? So now when I click on this, it will go and find my mail application, whatever that might be. I happen to have this uh, PC has the, the default Windows 10 mail app, so it's opening up that. But however your computer defaults to email messages, it'll fill out the two, and I can now write my email, right? I could also have passed other things in there, you know, like the body tag, but I just wanted to show you how to launch an email. Now, you can do the same thing with a phone number, but the difference is instead of doing mail to for phone numbers, remember to do tell. Now, with all that said, guess what? You don't have to do this. We actually do it for you in a particular case, and let me show you that. So I'm going to go to one of my contractor lists, and I'm going to go to the default view here. And in this default view, if you look over to the right here, just pull over, you'll see that I have a phone number column on the right. And I have an email column. And by the way, the email column is purely a single line of text. And that single line of text has an email address in it. SharePoint is smart enough to know what to do with this. But that's the way it's set up right now. You can tell that even the phone number is really smart. So is Power App. So let's go show you that. I'm actually going to create an app from Power App so that I can get the three screens, and I'll show you how this works. I'm just going to put details launch because what I'm going to do is show you how you can automatically make the phone and the email launch without writing the launch, fun the launch function in both your display and your edit forms, okay? So we'll do the display form in this particular video, but it works exactly the same way in the edit form. And what you're going to discover as I show you this is you have many more options than you thought you did when it comes to how you format the controls that exist in the display and the edit form. Now, I decided to go ahead and let Power Apps build this three screen app for us to keep me honest and so you know that I didn't do any magic behind the scenes. This is pure out of the box, box, we love writing functions for you. So this is kind of a fun thing for those of you who maybe aren't crazy about having to write so many formulas. So we're almost done here. Power Apps has done a lot of work for me, by the way. It's created a full three screen app for me to work in and it automatically works, all right? There's nothing I have to do. For the most part, I find myself, when I do this, kind of replacing the fields that may be chosen by Power Apps. So in this case, I don't want the ID here. I want the contract start date. So I will choose that instead. And now, basically, my app is done. But here's the thing. I'm also going to change the theme. I always like to remind you guys that you can. And notice we've got brand new themes. I'm so excited about these new themes, right? So let's try that one right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this app that's basically finished. There's nothing else for me to do. 
And I'm going to show you how we're going to put the phone number and the email on this form without writing the function and it will automatically work. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the details form that is on that screen. I might zoom out just a little bit so you can see. Right. And then I'm going to open up my panel that's always friendly and helpful. And I'm going to change it to two columns just so I can use the space in the column and make sure that I have the phone and the contact email fields chosen. All right. And I think I'll remove the contract end date. All right. And then with those fields there, I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to go ahead and make my contractor name span the two columns. And then I'm going to also make my phone span the two columns and my email span the two columns. Now, watch when I run this app, I can click on here all day and nothing's going to happen, right? Because it's not done yet. I'm going to show you the simple thing I have to do, not write a launch function, to get this to work. I'm going to select the form again and reopen the panel. And guys, here's where you need to take a look at this if you haven't seen it. To the right of every card that you have selected, there's this little ABC123. And it totally depends on what kind of feel it is because if it's a date, it looks like that, right? So I'm going to go down to the for the phone card and I'm going to click on that ABC and I'm simply going to click on view phone. Notice that I have a hyperlink there automatically. Then I'm going to go down to contact email, make sure I have that selected and do the same thing. This time I'm going to say view email. Notice that view form and view, view phone and view email are available in both of those because they are text fields. Right. So now when I run this app, if I click on this, you will see that same experience where it's planning to open up Outlook. It will go ahead and fill out the contact email. It's like it's already built the launch function in there for me. I had to do nothing. Right. There it is all filled out. My email. Right. All filled out and ready to go. I'm not going to write an email. So we'll close that. As far as the phone number goes, I prefer this on my phone. I'm going to click on it here, but what it's going to do is it's going to go look around and find an application that can make phone calls. In this case, it found Skype and now it's going to open Skype and make that phone call. Now, if I was on my phone, it would just go ahead and use the phone. It would ask me first, you sure you want to call this person? And I'm going to say yes. And it's going to call that person. If I'm on a Mac, it may use the phone that's integrated with the Mac. And so it kind of is smart enough to go find something that can dial a number and present that to you. So my favorite experience with phone numbers is truly on my phone. But what I love about this, guys, is that you can right away see you don't have to write the launch function if you have the phone number or the email in your data. So if it exists in your data, then just select that on the card and then it just works. So I hope that was helpful to you. I'm, I'm thinking it's trying to open up Skype right now. It's being a little slow, but I'm pretty sure it's going to open it up in just a minute. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just close this form and remind you that I truly love coming in and showing you great tips like this so that you don't have to write as many functions, right? Maybe you'll get things done a lot faster. Check out the other options under each data card. And I look forward to talking to you again at the next Friday Functions video. Have a great weekend.